Yo, what's up, yo? What is going on? What is going on, Bird Bunch? What's up? How you guys doing today? Yo, what's up, Back Cave Gaming? What's going on, Sarah Fuji? How y'all doing today? <clears throat> I hope everything is going good in y'all favor. So we are playing another RPG Maker title. Let me get the, the song right, the, the sound correct. Sometimes when I open up OBS, it don't want to capture the sound because it keep uh, going back to default. So I got to uh, you know, change it back. But. Sometimes I got to keep doing it. It's all good. It's all good. Take a couple seconds to do it. So, we are going to try to play this game in Portuguese. This is by a Portuguese developer. And, you know, Portuguese and Spanish is almost similar to each other. And since your boy D757 Gaming knows Spanish... I'm going to try to attempt to translate this game at the same time trying to play it. So, uh, please forgive me if my translation is a little bit rough. All right. Your uncle asked, can you make him a mobile game? Can you help him with a mobile game? Wow. Why not? Why not? It's definitely a opportunity to uh, help him. And you know you can use RPG Maker and export it to mobile 
to a mobile device, you know, but you got to look, you know, you got to tweak it a little bit so it could work on your computer. I mean, on your phone, you know, like probably create like a picture event for a controller, you know, in case uh, you don't want to use the touch screen, like, like the, uh, the two finger mechanic that's standard with RPG maker. If you do export it to a mobile device, you know, say to use it, like two fingers to go back and stuff like that. You can actually like make controls. <clears throat> it's not complicated, but it does uh, take a little bit of steps to really, you know, get used to it. All right. So new game, continue and options. I already went in and changed the way to my personal uh personal preferences hola testar suas habilidades no idioma <laughs> ah try to test my language abilities <laughs> yo what's up ryan c how you doing new game let's freaking go all right We got birds, we on a boat, there's a cat, and this is the 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 cat name is Persephone. Okay, she is saying Are you tired of pretending to be Leonardo DiCaprio? What does that mean? Okay, I know you like the sea. Even though it is dangerous. Let's face it. It is dangerous. Stay there. <clears throat> I do not know Portuguese y'all. <laughs> Furthermore the captain said that we have a lot of sea to travel. A lot. There's a lot of sea ahead. There's a lot of sea ahead. Alright. <laughs> and... And I don't want to go the rest of the journey being sick and and mad. So Zena, I don't know that word. <laughs> All right, but but walk away and don't jump. Walk away and don't jump. Okay. Uh, would you take my nine lives? Just, would you take away my nine lives? It is killing me by my heart. You're, you're, you're straining my heart. <laughs> this translation is fun, man. It's Menias. Girls. Girls. So she's a girl, not a boy. The captain is calling you. The captain is calling you. Okay. Okay, what does it, what will he want with us? It is about the apple pie. It wasn't me. The cat is talking and no one cares. And don't look at me with that face, okay? Don't look at me with that face. Don't stare at me like that. I'm doing rough translation, guys. I'm doing I'm doing rough translations. Uh, I don't speak Portuguese at all. I don't even know how to pronounce some of these words. I'm just figuring out what some words could mean. Okay. You, you came. You have to interrupt the silence. Uh, you have to interrupt the silence of your trip more precisely. Can you do me a favor? Okay. Still a few hours until we arrive at the port de Neveo, ne, Nevoa. And I can't take my hand. 
Can't take my hand. Uh, I don't. I don't know that one. From the from the. I can't take my hand from this. The boat thingy, what do they call it? Helm. I can't take my hand from the helm. For the by for the convenience. They still talk. Uh, uh please. Please is simple. It's about here's a map that show you the new quarters, the city with Leopardo. I don't know. <laughs> Leopardo, who is that? Leopardo is the name of 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 my little girl from two paws uh, uh, don't know uh we're arriving at the capital yo what's up joselins furthermore furthermore the gossip between the sellers the class furthermore the gossip between the sellers is clearly an excellent fighter right an excellent fighter uh no gossip about i hope this gossip isn't about me that is absurd uh know that i am the most powerful arch mage arch paul the arch cat from the entire Brazilian coast. What? <laughs> what the world is going on? I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. Uh, some words, some words I recognize, but some I don't. It's fun though. Uh, no work for veterans. The art of war, like you. Right? Art of War like we, anything else, Captain. Uh, by the way, only by the way, you are dismissed. You are dismissed. Okay. Uh, um, and everything that is sub. That we are subject ourselves to travel nine oceans. Uh, we are subject submit to travel. F oh, everything that we subject ourselves, we travel far. Travel for free. Travel for free. Travel for free. <laughs> okay. I mean, I I, I understand the story. I understand what's going on. All right, so Cla uh, Clarao, Clarao, and Persephone. Uh, she's a arch, arch gate. All right, what kind of skills, abilities, ninjutsu? Okay. Okay, it says. Uh, take, take an item or money from the target. All right, so Rob, take an item or money from the target. It has a chance of success, but um, a small chance, a chance of success. Definitely, uh, we don't know if it's a. Uh, Whatever percentage it is, or a small chance, it just said it has a chance of success. Archmage and the cat. Okay. Uh, she got magic, fire, lightning, venom, sleep, and ice. Okay. Um, her stat says, uh, you with your beautiful story. Your your beautiful story. You with your beautiful story. 
Okay, and the kitty says, uh, a arch gate from the village of Penha. The Terminator to follow the, the, uh, to the end of the world. To the confines of the world, to the end of the world. She's determined to keep going to the end of the world. I think. <laughs> Salvar, let's say. Okay, we cannot. Oh my god, what happened? We ran into a bug. Oh my god, that's 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 bad. I'm trying, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but uh, Sellers Production. Did Bird Bunch just change? Oh, she's on Twitch. About to say, like, did she just change her logo that freaking fast? Like, for real? All right, so we know what's going on. We are two girls. We are a girl and a cat, and the captain want us to go to the capital and do some um, investigation. Or whatever. So I don't know why. I don't know why we uh, um, we um crashed. Archivo not disponible. YouTube's giving me. You gotta manually change that. Like you gotta go to uh to advance. You know, like hit the gear icon, go to advance, and change the resolution. It does me like that. Okay, you changed to the max, still getting it. Alright, so I don't... I didn't really read the error to see what... It just said, uh, uh, scene quality. You know, it was trying to call like a... A different scene, but it wasn't available. Something like that. Okay, so let's... I mean, the map, it doesn't look too bad. The map, it do not look too bad. Treaties on amphibians, cold-blooded animals that have natural aversion to low, to low temperatures. Uh, Dear Diary. Totally, I fell in love for the fourth time while taking the collective, the carriage. While taking the, the carriage, the bus. Uh, that's evasion of privacy. <laughs> that's evasion of privacy. Okay, so we got healing, potion, and agua de chuca has been found. Oops, you found a stimulus also. We found a stimulus as well. Good lighting effect. I like the motion sickness. You know, like the boats rocking back and forth. I really like that. I really, I'm really digging that. All right. So what are we supposed to do? Okay, we got the map. He said get the map, so we got the map. I'm trying my best, man trying my best i'm trying to like certain words i don't know i'm just guessing okay to fight formation check out our skills what hold up so are we doing double like are we doing uh physical power 500 so are we doing like double attacks at the same time like like dual attacks Oh, okay, with just that attack, I think. Is that a, um... Like a Chrono Trigger effect? Like, certain skills, they do a, uh... A, a, uh... What do you call it? A dual attack. For your Hermoso. 
hermanos, Chicken Brothers. <laughs> okay, I hope I don't turn into the lunatic uh, so early, but that solves the problem. I think that's what she's saying. <laughs> I, I hope that's what she's saying. Okay, so. Let's go. Just because I'm playing games like this, please don't submit me games in different languages that I don't speak. Here's the map, Captain. How efficient. Leopardo. Uh, can I borrow your kit? Se comparte means to behave. So, did Leopardo uh, behave with you? Was she good? Was she, was she on her best behavior? Yeah. Compartarse is to behave. Okay. She was the, she was the last, the last, at least, I hope, I hope, Sparrow K, I hope, Fike, I don't know, figure, I figure, I figure, ha ha ha, ha <laughs> ha, okay, uh, Eureka, uh, take care of the animals as well, I guess. Like a good person or cat. Uh, excuse, I enjoy having a little bit, um, something about the city like Port of Niveau. The vault. What does that mean? I think that means like mist or something. Port of mist. Tudo bin. Uh, take. Tudo bin is like uh well, right? Well, everybody. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, Captain. Okay, uh, dang it. You finishing up trials? If you excuse me, I have to board the boat. I have to get on the boat. Uh, have a drink or have a drink or I have to drive the boat. I have to steer the boat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Why that face? Let's take a nap. Let's take a nap. It was, it would do you good. It would do you some good. Let's take a nap. It would do you some good. Yo, what's up, idea? Alright, uh. Alright. Some, somebody's approaching the ship. Here they come. Whatever these are. Hey, we did a dual attack. Okay, so the knife and the magic is going to do a dual attack regardless because you can infuse the knife with a uh Okay, poison poison isn't but maybe with the elements you do a, a super attack. I think that's what that is. Let's see what regular attack look like. Okay. It seems like everything else is like RTP, like mapping wise and stuff like that, but it's not. Doesn't look too bad. They seem to have no end. Look out. Alright, what about ice? Do attack ice.
Okay, so seeing like they're weak against ice. I like this. Like, I like the dual attack. Good choice of music as well. God, I wish I had Rams a dual attack plugin. By the way, yeah, everything's RTP since I'm not great with general with art in general. Hee <laughs> hee. Not too bad though, dude. Not too bad. Not too bad. Here comes a here comes some more. What creature is that? Well, what creature is this? It's an octopus. Okay. Just put some stomach and private bananas and dresses. Okay, do you have a thought about the stew that you can... Have you thought about what you can do with one of these? Uh, this isn't time for a joke. I'm talking about traditional food, traditional culinary, Argentinian food, something about Argentinian food. I guess uh, they make uh, squid stuff in Argentina. <laughs> I think I'm going to assume that's what they're saying. Calamari, I love calamari, love it. Love it. Okay, so I am... I am, uh, poisoned. Okay, this brings somebody back to life. Estimulante. I mean, I would change Estimulante. I mean, Estimulant is just... It's so, you know, RTP-ish. You know, I definitely change that if I if I were you to be honest be quiet Alexa nobody's talking to you hush my goodness <clears throat> Let me heal. Food poisoning. Man, sorry that happened to you, dude. That sucks. I started this game to a friend of mine. The main character. Oh. So the girl in the picture is actually your friend? Three thirty four. I'm going to assume this thing is weak against ice or, or, uh, lightning. You know what I'm saying? Because that's technically the rules of Pokemon. Treasure. Results. Okay. Uh, hope that's the last, that's the last of them. That was the last of them. They hate low temp. Yeah, I, I knew it was ice, but, you know. Congratulations, sailors. Thanks to our crew. Also, this... Also, we are already approaching our destination. Uh... Is that city... 
city of I don't know. We don't watch watch the fairy dolls. Watch the wounded and watch I don't know that word. I don't <laughs> Okay, uh, I don't know about, I don't know, uh, but, I don't know. <laughs> tend the wounded and tend the candles. Is that what that means? Is that what that means? We could go rest in the room, yet we have, we haven't, uh, arrived. Jegamos. Yeah, almost. But y'all spell it. See, I mean, you got to like kind of read it to yourself. Then you have an idea of what you're saying. Because Chegamos and Yegamos, I mean, they, that it sounds like that. Okay, you can wander around the boat too, you know. So I could walk around the boat. Let's open this chest, of course. That's what we want to do. Okay, uh, thanks for the help. And remember that amphibians, uh, don't withstand low temperature. Uh, magic potion was found. Okay. Uh, put, uh. Uh, everybody know what uh means. <laughs> I love, man, I love seal. I mean, uh, squid calamari with marinara sauce. Okay, will you like to go to the, uh, to sleep? To the sleep room. To the dormitory. Yes. Yes, let's go. Don't say I know, cause when I try to save it, it crashed. <laughs> it crashed. C R A S C H. I spelled crash all wrong, but it's okay. Fifteen G was found. Okay. Um. Yes, I am. I am the clergy of Baudre. We know. We are known across the continent of Brazil. Is that Brazil? No, Baudrazi. Baudrazi. Uh, and no, I don't see. I'm not going to kidnap you. Uh, to a village, to the frontier, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> That's how I spelled it. Okay, this guy looks like a very important individual. It's been a long time since I, I had a drink in Skinny Sailor. Uh, do you know how to get, or maybe on the boat? I don't know. <laughs> These NPCs are a party from a dungeon and dragon game. I run to my friends. The whole setting of this game is a custom D and D scenario: towns, peoples, and everything. Nice, man. Nice. Nice. Um, these waters are inhabited by sanguines. More the captain loves to spread about the information, but the captain asked me to spread the information. I keep thinking Capital is cap capital, but it's captain. Okay, I just spread it, didn't I? 
Uh, you two are the worst. Exclusive. Uh, they, hold on. You two make the most of it, right? They even deserve a reward. Okay, so we got 250 gold. This is the PC version. This is the P enjoy. Okay, uh the manager of Naval is the whole half elf a half elf Athel. Uh no one from the guild sellers goes with his cornels. I don't know that word. I don't know that word. Special Carolina. I guess. I guess. I guess. Alright. So what are we supposed to do? There's nothing in here. We ain't supposed to do. Are we supposed to go to bed? Okay, uh, Cachilo, let's go. All right. How you doing, the nerd mansion? Oh, everything's going good in your side of the neighborhood. So everybody is missing. I mean you can't really you can't really give too much detail or advice on the boat for mapping wise. But it does seem like, you know, we are on the boat. Doesn't look too bad. Finally, dot without stand, swinging back and forth. Uh, and apparently is not called port of something for nothing. Look at this fog. This fog. Not a bad boat. <laughs> Rapper would say this is the ver this is the boat version. Down to the end. Long boat. Down to the long boat establishment. Or uh hotel or something <laughs> yeah that was the intro seekers now what about an actual boss hold on how 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 we go from how we go from portuguese the English. I was actually having a little fun uh, trying to translate. <laughs> For real. I was having a little fun. Uh, now we in our natural habitat. Good luck and enjoy D7. Oh! Oh, wow. I'm in the game. <laughs> Woo! You guys have strong opinions for young people. Paulo Guedes. Who is this? Uh, what is he saying? You you guys have crooked opinions. Right? For young, but they are capable to defend themselves. Yo, what's up, Wall Depp? I don't know how I be. I don't know how I got in the, into these games. Okay, so this is uh does an aerial attack. Okay, this brings you back to life. Maybe this just in the demo versions. 
By the way, Kenshi Bushido combos with Kochi Jitsu Ninjutsu. Okay. Okay. Okay, so they're samurai. Okay, this is Cure. So he already positions those, it seems. A. I mean, should I take out the dog first? Paul Gator say hi. You yeah, have strong opinions for young people, but are capable of defending them. And the fight begins. He don't want none for real, man. He don't want none of this. Hold on, hold on. I wanted to do that to myself. Probably can't paralyze him. Yeah, we probably can't paralyze them. No effect. What the hell? Two forty nine. Uh. Uh. What is he saying? Okay. Um. I didn't find it would have so much work. I I didn't find I would struggle like this. Okay, and uh, but it's no problem for that. I have my currency reserves. Vince <laughs> 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 McMahon, let's freaking go. <laughs> dog can't do against the dog. Hold on, you can't, you can't go against the dollar under my control. You can't go against the dollar under my control. Is that what he's saying? Probably good to rob that guy. <laughs> oh, the dog name is Dollar. You know what? You can burn a dollar, right? Go! Persephone! Oh my god, why? Oh no, he did it so fast. Nine. Darn it. Nice. Nice.
Oh, this is like a scan attack. Yeah, that's a scan attack. So maybe... Come on, come on, come on. We gotta keep, we gotta keep... Come on, man. Keep killing the cat. Like the turn order, bruh. Oh my god! I'm not having no luck. You know what? The cat, let the cat heal. Persephone, cause it seemed like he revised her quick. Yeah, let's try it this way. I don't understand. Sometimes, like... Oh, and G. So it seemed like with the revive... With the, re the revive... It, it's like... It's a weight. Okay, that works. That works. That works. That works. Alright. Now hopefully we probably could... I mean, we've been doing damage on him, but let's see on dollar. On dollar bill. You know, we should have healed Persephone. Yes, he in the weakened state. Freaking go. <sighs> so do, he got more than one phase. Here comes the money. Shane old Mac. Alright, so let's Oh man, we don't got no more uh we can't heal no more. What about defend? Do defend? Will defend? Revive our magic power. And this is it, guys. If I die, it's a wrap. So if I die, it's over. Woo! 700. I like that. I like that. Oh, man. This is not good. His oh. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yo, that's crazy.
He is gone. <laughs> ah, <man. laughs> oh man, that's funny. That is freaking hilarious. I seen everything. Maybe, maybe he might be weak against freeze too because you freeze his uh, his bank account. He's all about money. You freeze his bank account. He can't get into his money. Salto Helido. Nope. That takes 300. The other one took 700. So he's definitely weak against uh, fire. Yo, what's up, Harlequin? Definitely about to run out of resources. Because once I am out of... Impossible! Uh, I underestimated you. I underestimated you. I talked. I talked. I failed my persistence, my presidency. I failed my presidency. He failed because he can't beat us, of course. Portuguese, how did these seven end up playing this? I'm guess, man. I'm trying to put two and two together and just come up with my own translation. Okay, wow, you did it. Hope you enjoy the features of the game offer so far. Hey, Hercules, 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 Hercules. Let's freaking go. Oh, he said he fell his president, not his presidency. Okay. Okay. Hello, Tyre. What's going on? Alright guys, this is what I think about the game. I think the game is a little... I mean, you can't really take it too serious. It's not like... Uh, you know, like... A dead on game. You already saw... Uh, with the jokes and with the boss battle. You know, about him being the president. And the WWE, Here Comes the Money, Shame and Man theme song... That he making it rain. You know what I'm saying? Like, then you got a dog that's a folded dollar bill. I mean, you can't really take the game serious as a serious game. I mean, I'm not going to say the game isn't serious or whatnot. But, you know, it's like a comedy. It's like a comedy. It's like a comedy. So, I mean, it being a comedy, I mean... You just got to make the game funny. Um, even though the game being in Portuguese and my limited knowledge in the Portuguese language, I can't speak a lick of it. But knowing Spanish can help you translate or see what's going on with some scenes. I, I hope I did a good job uh, translating the best way to my ability. But... Uh, this definitely goes to show, you know, how much fun you can have with RPG Maker. You can have a lot of fun with this, uh, with this engine. And, you know, you gotta be careful when you judge people game because some people may not be just creating games for money. They just could be just doing it the past time. And just like, uh, the developer said, um, uh, he said that, um, you know, he's doing this for his friend. And also some of the scenes are from uh, stuff that they did with, um, what you call it, Dungeons and Dragons. So it's not a bad game. Not a bad game. I actually enjoyed it. Uh, what would I change about the game? I mean, 
didn't really I didn't really see much of the game to like really say that we need to change this, need to change that or whatever. I didn't really see much of it to um actually like give it like a band hammer or something. And you know D seven don't really swing a lot of band hammers and stuff like that. <laughs> you know what I mean? So what's going on in the RPG maker community that I've been seeing, you know, I've been seeing uh more developers coming out doing let's plays. <laughs> We got Bird Bunch doing tons of Let's Play. She did. I mean, he did. <laughs> I'm so used to Bird Bunch being a, a girl, man. But that one picture Bird Bunch sent in my Discord, you know, with the fight stick. And I always thought Bird Bunch was a girl. But apparently, when I saw the live stream and I heard the voice... I was like, huh? What? I thought Bird Bunch was a girl. Then I'm thinking it is 2022. We got we got uh people with different identities, you know what I'm saying? Like some people wouldn't be called, you know. Whatever they want to be called. So I thought Bird Bunch probably was one of those individuals. But then I had to ask Ozzy Ben Israel. I said, bro, am I tripping? Am I tripping? Or is Bird Bunch? Uh, I thought Bird Bunch was a, 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 a girl. And he said, I I said the same thing too. I was like, I was like, uh, he was like, I asked him. And he said, yeah, I'm a guy. I was like, oh, man. So the whole time, the whole time, it been months. It been months. I think I played Bird Bunch's game for the first time four months ago. Uh, Kindred Reality. I mean, uh, Kindred Novel. I played that game four months ago and I felt like, you know, I thought Bourbon was a uh uh exactly like never said a word. Never said a word. I was like, uh when 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 he sent me uh the you know a tip I was like thank you darling <laughs> I was like thank you darling for the tip didn't protest or nothing. So I'm thinking I'm talking to a girl the whole time. I ain't talking to Jack. <laughs> I ain't talking. To, I was talking to Bird Bunch. I'm like, man. But thank you for doing uh, the first impressions of other game developers, Bird Bunch. And your knowledge, your knowledge and your uh, abilities to like really, to really, um, give the developer because your game says a thousand words your say your game says a thousand words just like just like brent ross's game says a thousand words everybody game says a thousand words i definitely do hope you play uh simple gaming's game uh the dungeon rummage series you know i like to see your reaction to that i like to see your reaction to that but uh man it's it just just been something about this community. There's drama. There's drama in this community. I don't know why there's so much drama behind game creation. Like, I'm trying to figure out where is all this coming from? So I've been I've been going to people Discords. I've been going to people's streams, just looking at other stuff, and I'm like, the drama isn't RPG Maker. You know, it seems like the drama is about otherworldly stuff that doesn't have nothing to do with RPG Maker. 
So I'm like, okay. So they taking their personal views and putting on RPG Maker, which giving it a bad name. I'm like, what the heck is this? You know, you go to different discords, you see all the talk. I just don't say nothing. I'm there, but I ain't saying nothing. You know, I'm like, I'm like that guy in the cut. You know what I'm saying? I'm that guy in the cut, just chillaxing, ain't saying a word. <laughs> but, uh, right away, man. Oh, we just finished playing, uh, Linda's De Amash. This is, uh, uh, Pedro Lin's game, but he go by Jawzillin. 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 That's what he go by. So, definitely, uh, it's not available to the public. D7. A played it first before everybody else. Uh, I mean, but if you want to give it a shot, you know, I'm pretty sure he won't mind, uh, sharing the link with you guys, but since it's not public, I'm not going to share it unless there's an okay from the developer. I mean, it was like, it wasn't nothing much, like, in, in terms of gameplay, but it was something, something, um... You know, uh, to see what, like what he can do as a developer, like his mechanics and stuff. You know, his uh, action sequence and you know it had dual skills, like certain abilities. You know, cause a dual skill. So the game had that. So, but I do appreciate Bird Bunch as. A developer and the support that he has been showing RPG Maker community. You know what I mean? Like this this individual uh definitely cares about you know the pioneers of RPG Maker. Where they got Drifty to play their game three times. Three freaking times. Three freaking times. Three times. Three times. Regardless of the drama that's going with them and Nicarasu. Three times. Bird Bunch want their game shown on that channel. Just because of support. Bird Bunch, regardless. Of the attack. Of the attack. You know. Bird Bunch. Just were. Persistent. Play my game. Play my game. Play my game. And I asked Bird Bunch. I said. Uh, how you think about your, your game play? You know what I'm saying? Because a hundred dollars. Not, it's not a little bit of money. <laughs> not a little bit of money, man. Not a little bit of money. See, I mean, he liked the reaction and the support. So that's why we saw three plays of Drifty playing Fur Bunch's game. And I thought about that. I said, just listening to the stream and just listening to Drifty and T talk, I kind of like thought about the real reason why I do these playthroughs. Uh, it's clear to me, like, I love Drifty and T. You know what I mean? I, I, I love watching them. I would never stop watching Driftwood Gaming and 
TNT. I will never stop watching their show. I may not catch them every time. But when I looked at Burr Bunches, Burr Bunches, well, Drifties, Playtime, and my Playtime, it took me three hours and 40 minutes to beat the last boss from the beginning to the end to beat the last boss. All right. It took them about six hours, seven hours. <laughs> it took about six, seven hours for them to beat the last boss. Uh, this clearly shows that, you know, the value, the value. And I heard Drifty, I heard Drifty speak about value, right? They speak about value in their game, like with the, uh, with the self-promotion. Speak about value. So, uh, I told myself, then it really hit, then it really hit home when, when Jeff, Jeff asked them where they're interested in playing Trailblazer again. Then, they said we would talk about it and we would see how much we would charge. I'm like, are you serious? I'm not trying to bash. I'm not trying to bash them, but what I'm saying, Trailblazer is a amazing game. If Jeff came to me and say, D seven. Can you play Chapter 4 Trailblazer? That's an honor. That's an honor. That's an honor. Jeff is an amazing developer. Right? Jeff is an amazing developer. Yes, I will play your game, Jeff. Yes. Yes, I will play it. So... Drifty's probably burnt out on these games and, and is doing it for the community, but it's not it's no longer for the it's no longer for the community if is there's a price tag. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, I don't know. I I, I watched no cap. They say no cap. I watched Bert, the whole Bird Bunch videos of Dripwood and T's playthrough at least three times in the entirety, so I could analyze like, like, like uh, what's going on, like what's going on, and this is the pioneer. Of RPG maker. Like, this is what everybody look up to. I can understand you tired of playing the bad games. You know, you tired of getting uh your project, you know, like downloads in this label project. There's no proper name, there's a lot of placeholders. I can understand that. I can understand that. But man, but but is it for the community if you are if you are uh yo what's up Don Knotts not Don Knotts if you add a price tag and y'all told me already like when I did stuff when I did stuff to kind of brand my channel remember when uh I put the timer. <laughs> you remember the infamous timer that I put? The two hour. I put a two hour timer 
at the beginning of each stream and I said, look, I said, look, you know, you got two hours to show me what you can do. You can't impress me in two hours. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you you only got two hours to really impress, and, but y'all was against that. Y'all was like, man, I ain't, it, it ain't it ain't yourself, D7. You put a timer up there. It's not like it's not being yourself. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of what I see with uh. Just then, like I just felt so uncomfortable. I just felt so uncomfortable with that. You know what I'm saying? Just listening. You know, like it's money. Like why won't you just play the game? You know, or just not even live stream it. Just play the game offline, and just. Let the developer know how your game while not offline, you know, while offline and just have them pay if they want it promoted online. You know what I mean? That way you're still, you're still the man, you know, you still have that respect. But... I don't know, man. I I don't know. I don't know. I just feel like I just feel like Drifty is losing that power a little bit. I think he's losing that power a little bit. And that's what happens when you start to commercialize stuff. You start looking at stuff differently. You know what I mean? You start looking at stuff differently and and all that stuff. And Drifty said out his mouth I'm not attacking Driftwood. I'm not. You know what I'm saying? Like, I will always be a fan for life. But Drifty say it out himself. He would never spend money on the RPG Maker game. He would never pay for one. Like. Like. Wow. <laughs> I understand that, you know, they become watched, but still, like. You got to be an example. You got to, you got to, you're our general. You got to be an example in order to, you know, have others follow. There's some stuff you're not supposed to say. You know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to say some, there's some things you're not supposed to say. You know what I mean? And I think, man, it, it just, it just, Hearing that, hear, just hearing the money talk, like, bro, like, come on, man. Come on. You know, I played, I played Bird Bunch's game in three hours, almost four hours. So every time they had to play the game, Every time they had to play Bird Bunch's game, she he had to shell out some dough. Every time. Every time. So. But Drifty has a lot of followers. And if it would be for free, his list would be endless. No. If Drifty... If Drifty did what Drifty used to do, the our first impressions. Man. There would it would it would it would have been so much power behind the videos. It would have been so much power behind the videos. Compared to what Brent Rawson can do. He's a great reviewer. But his lifestyle, his work style, he don't have time to like really Simmer down and play these games for a long time. That just that was just on my heart, guys. Because listen to listening to you know what the conversation, the dialogue during the live stream. You know what I mean. I, I, you kind of you kind of gotta 
even if that's the case, uh, DJ King, you got to have standards for yourself. You know what I mean? Like you can't you can't look at everything as a as a dollar now. You know what I mean? Exactly. It's too much risk. And that's why Nikarasu was mad. That's why he was upset. You look at the Nikarasu playthrough, it wasn't really much covered, to be honest. I'm just saying, like, wasn't really much covered. During Nicarasu's playthrough. Yo, what's it? DJ990J, my girl in the house. What's going on? I would been highly upset. And that song, I Want My $30 Back. I will be singing that song too. But you get what you paid for. You get what you paid for. I feel like, man, the least I can do. Is beat your game. And. A single play. At least I will try. I will try. Right. Yes. Bird Bunch's game. Bird Bunch's game is really complicated. Really complicated. Right. But. You just got to pay attention to her mechanics. To his mechanics. I keep calling her, him or her. <laughs> Just like Harlequin. Harlequin. Bird Bunch said. Harlequin. Simple Gaming was the only person. To to fully understand. The Varys character. The Varys character. He was the only person. Was able to. You know. To use that character. Efficiently. And that may be true. That may be true. But th this this definitely goes to show you how supportive Bird Bunch is about the community and about the things that he do, you know, for RPG Maker. You know, he wanted Drifty and T to play them. Um, to, uh, you know, he wanted to support. Bird Bunch even offered me. To pay me D757 Gaming money to play his game again. He offered me money. I had I, I was like, no, I can't I can't take money from you. That go against what I believe. And he was like, no, nah, I just want to support, you know, I'm a I want to support, you know what I mean? I want to sponsor the stream. I said, yeah, but, you know, it's not what I'm about. And it's true. I, I, it's not what I'm about. I, I will feel, I wouldn't feel right doing that, knowing I got four playthroughs. <laughs> when I got four playthroughs, you know what I mean? Wouldn't give the jam participant 30 minutes instead while screwing around. Law. Not even a thank you from Bird Bunch when I told them I was playing. Can I'm pretty sure they're going to they gonna thank you. I'm pretty sure. Raffle Wood, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they, they appreciate it. It's just so much going on. And they may they may not even know you... Um. You you got a channel. You know what I mean? I didn't even know you was playing games on your channel until the Nicarasu's contest. I didn't even know. So my thing is I'm not really you know, I'm not trying to discourage the Driftwood or or any other developer who wanna add on a price to play your game. You know, I'm not trying to do that. I feel Drifty shouldn't play RPG Maker games if he's going to make people pay for them. I mean, Nico. Man. 
I mean, I can understand you pay for the the promotion. Yeah, the promotion you pay for that, and everything is discussed ahead of time. I'm pretty sure there's some type of uh, agreement done before uh, it, everything's exchanged. <laughs> everything's exchanged, but. 60 minutes? <laughs> 60 minutes? To what they explain a first impression a first impression you get a deal for the first impression after the first impression is no longer a first impression but you gotta pay the promotion fee for them to play your game. I may be wrong. <laughs> I may be wrong. But I think that's what that was said. <laughs> Raffle Wood. He said, but again. <laughs> now, nah, for real, though. For real. For real. I think that's what was what was explained. You 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 pay you pay uh $30 for the first impression and after that you pay for the promotion. But is it still a first impression? Like like I think this is where they save themselves. The first playthrough. The first the first playthrough. Uh, you know, the first hour, that's the impression. The first impression is, is one hour, right? That's the thirty that's the thirty dollars for one hour. If you want the promotional package, you gotta pay a hundred dollars. <laughs> you know what I mean? You gotta pay a hundred dollars. We had Drifty and T plays Brent Rawson's game. But I'm pretty sure Brent Rawson just supported the stream. Like, he, he support Drifty and T. So, I'm pretty sure he did it just to support them. He didn't really care about them really playing his game or how many views and, and likes he get. You know, he probably just did it. To really support the channel. Because he really support them. You know what I mean. That's what I get from Brent Ross. Because he's definitely in everybody else's streams. And commenting on everybody else's video. You know he just supports. The uh, the channel. Because he really supports them. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure. If I had something like that. He'd probably support me as well. That's just the individual. Brent Ross's. Brent Ross's is. But what about those individuals who don't know about uh, Drifty or he and they just run across him and I can understand putting a paywall up. Not bashing that at all. But I just don't like, I just didn't like, uh, especially when Trailblaze, like, you know this developer is good. You know it. You know they're good. Why not, you know, play their game and support that developer because you know there's no risk with the game being bad. You know what I mean? And... It's a, it's a risk. It's a risk because the way Kendrick Novel was played, you're risking going with that package. <laughs> you risking it. You know what I mean? 
like I don't have I don't have no problem with that because I know Driftwood Gaming is a business. I know that. That's what it is, you know. But you know, I you you, you gotta you got to man. I don't know. I don't know he does free. Well, he did say in the Discord you could earn free plays with the bot. I can understand that. Like, th there's a lot of stuff I don't understand. I'm trying to, like, I'm trying to, like, pinpoint it. Trying to understand it better. But, oh, man. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But at the same time, man, I just I just felt like even the RPG maker community, there shouldn't be any beef, no drama whatsoever going on. If I was a developer, you know, my my goal is to have a lot of people play my game of course probably uh stream it <laughs> of course but when you come to the conclusion of getting the best feedback and i can't even say driftwood game is the best I can't say that. And I've seen a lot of his videos, right? Like, the knowledge, the knowledge is just like my videos. The knowledge is from the chat. You know what I mean? The knowledge, the chat, the audience is where you get the best feedback from. You get the best feedback from the audience, man. You know what I mean? Like, my chats, awesome, awesome uh, critiques, awesome advice. You know what I mean? Drifty's audience, chat, awesome advice, awesome. The audience, you know what I mean, is like Driftwood equals exposure for pay. Like, understand that. But I don't. I don't know, man. I don't know. With 19,000 subscribers. 19,000 subscribers. I know every channel. I know every channel isn't going to have. Your like your main views. Like your main views, right? You can have twenty thousand subscribers, but not everybody has twenty thousand. Everybody's not gonna watch them videos because you got subscribers that die off. You get you got subscribers who don't even go on YouTube anymore. But whenever I see Driftwood Gaming play the games. He should at least average, average, at least two thousand subscribers a video. This is what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Like, and I said it already. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I don't know. I would personally recommend D7, Mana, Delta, Nikarasu, Neosu Gamer, Nerd Mansion, Dust Power Creations. Again, with the Drifty Talk, huh? What is there even talk about? I right, pay up. I'll speak to someone like D7 to pay your game. There's plenty of fewer options that actually love RPG Maker games. So many options available that would give you not just a solid playthrough, but likely good feedback as well. The reason why I like the reason why I'm asking this is because 
I don't want to see myself doing that. You know what I mean? Like putting a paywall to play games. Like, I don't know, man. I I don't know. I don't know. Ah. That I understand, Monkey King. That I can understand. That I can understand. It should be just one, one pay. That's it. One pay with for hourly. You know, charge an hour. But Studio Blue is Studio Blue is really good. One catchphrase. One thing about Studio Blue is if you're not subscribed to their channel. You're you can't watch their videos. <laughs> like like it subscribe, subscribe. You know what I mean? I don't blame Drifty for using his reputation to make some money, but I respect D7 for being generous. Yeah. I clearly understand uh Drifty making money. He's making pretty good money. Like I, that's like freaking dope. That's freaking dope. That's freaking dope. Like I could I could respect that. If you ever charge, I stop watching. Said it before. I spent some quite bucks on the channel. However, much as I can, and I always use my prime on D757 gaming. But that's because I love what you do. Once you start charging, you're just another dude trying to make money off of indie devs. But but simple gaming, you can't see. That's the thing. That's the thing. Like the mindset, the mindset. Like, like, and that that's the case. Would it be fair to say that I stop playing your games once you start charging for your games? See, you can't really say that about a a let's player. You know what I mean? Because I could say the same thing about a developer. Developer want to make money for their projects, right? So a streamer should be able to make money for their streams. Which is fair. Which is fair, you know. Either I make my money off I make my money off ads, which which is I'm content with. <laughs> I'm content with the ads. But, you know, my thing is value, value, you know, and the value is to, for a developer, is to really get their game played and have the audience see certain, uh, you know, aspect of their game. Time is money. Time deserves money, said the Brent Rawson. When that backlog of games gets, it's, it, man, it's freaking too long. You make money from ads, subs, and super chats. That's how a streamer makes money. Charges to play a game. Nah, bro. Nah, you don't do it like that. I agree with you wholeheartedly. Studio Blue playing your game is honestly better than Drifty Stream in terms of pure value and numbers. This is, this is, hey, this heating up. This is heating up, man. This is heating up. This is heating up. I like the acid because I want to see you guys' opinions about about this. You know what I mean? Like, like, I just wanted to see something. I don't care, Jiffy Charges. How much is it? Ha ha ha. Ah, man, thirty dollars for a first impression, which isn't bad. That's uh, an outfit. You can buy an outfit for thirty bucks. My dude can hit the live button and screw around, yelling, spilling drinks on things and class. <laughs> So true, man. So true. So true. And I've been watching Drifty for like 
five years. I like Drifty. I will always be a fan forever and ever and ever. So, I mean, if I were to charge, if I were to charge, you know, I don't have, like, the average minimum wage is seven. No, it's nine fifty. Federal minimum wage is nine dollars and fifty cents. If I could sit at my computer and play a RPG Maker game, a RPG Maker game like just play video games and charge thirty dollars just to play a demo. Why can't I do it for three hours? I ain't doing nothing else. <laughs> like, if you can sit down and hit that live button, like, I could charge $10 an hour and, and still be content. You're making more than minimum wage. You know what I mean? I mean, like, that's, that's how fair I can see it. <laughs> you know? So I'm like, there's better ways to go about doing this that could appease everybody. You know, I just didn't, I just didn't like, you know, especially Jeff, man. I just didn't like, man, like, dude, I understand he got to pay for, but some people, man, like, you should already know their, uh, their repertoire. You should already know what they could bring to the table. I mean, but at the same time, uh, what I've been seeing, I don't know. I don't know. I may got to go get some glasses because I could be looking at stuff wrong. I could be looking at stuff incorrectly. I am entitled to my own opinion. This is, you know, I'm not being disrespectful. To anybody. Apologize if I feel like I offended somebody. Or whatever. I mean. I just want to understand. Certain stuff in the community. And stuff like that. You know. And how devs feel about it. Because. You know. If nobody say anything about it. Who ever, who ever Who's going to say something. If nobody say anything about it. Never charge for a first impression unless you have a professional credits license or something. Now, if you went and advertised the game, like actually advertising only, if you want. <laughs> Simple gaming, this guy. This guy. <laughs> but I won't be giving you money for you having a good time playing my game. See, see the thing about that, Simple Gaming, is a person, a person starting off streaming He's going to play any game, whether it's good, bad, happy, or sad, to get that exposure. To get that exposure. You know what I mean? Once you become a professional, and on, in the YouTube world, a professional is somebody with a lot of followers. That's a professional. Then you start having that professional mind. You know, then you start trying to monetize, like... How can you monetize? How can you make that paper? I understand that. I understand that. But, you know, you got to make it to the fact where um, it's fair. You know what I mean? It's fair. It's not breaking the bank. And, and you got to get more for your game. You got to get more for your game. Not true. I won't be playing any garbage games. If you feel like you're getting swamped out with a lot of bad games, sounds like you got a problem. But you're not going to think that. You're not going to really think that if you're uh, a streamer. You're going to try any game that you get. Not saying that you're going to you gotta like every game that you play, but you're going to be like. You're going to you're going to uh, you're going to play that game. You're going to freaking play that game, you know. So, I mean, you may not play it, or or uh, Dutch Power Creation may not play it because 
you know, you guys may not even worry about who follows you or unfollows you, but a typical YouTuber, a YouTuber or a streamer, even on Twitch, they want the followers. They're going to want to get to that next level. So you can't really, you can't really uh, blame a person for playing bad games and stuff like that because they're going to, they're going to, uh, going to have to have some type of content, whether it's bad or good. They're going to have to have something to show other people what their channel is about. Professionals do have standards. They do. You know, they do. And just like, uh, if you or Drifties have thousands ish, a hundred. 10,000 is viewers I would drop Benjamin for exposure And who wouldn't Who wouldn't <laughs> Put it this way I contact I contacted a YouTuber With 30,000 subs And he does RPG Maker First Impressions And it's free He considers it amazing dev con Contact him Contact him at all Like I mean this that's what I'm saying Like I mean 30,000 subs and how many views he get, like per video? I always tell people this: I'm not good. I'm not. I don't think my channel's big enough for me to monetize, like the the charge you guys. That's why I would not do it because I can't. I can't give you that exposure that uh, bigger YouTubers can can give you. So that's why I'm not putting no paywall up. You feel what I'm saying? Unless. Unless, um, you know, you actually want to leave me a tip. See, I got that tip option for you guys to leave me a tip instead of, uh, you know, if you wanted to do it that way. But I feel like I'm not where I want to be in this channel to, like, really start charging. And is Drifty where he's at to start charging people? That's up to Drifty and T. I don't know. I don't know. Consistent with streams. See, I do agree. I do agree, but they are burnouts, dude. Like, streaming can take a lot out of you. And especially when you try to play as long as me. When you try to play as long as I as I can, you, you get burnt out a little bit because, you, you, you know, you got to work a 9 to 5. You got to... Uh, you got to work, especially if you got kids, you got family, you know, you got to take that into consideration all within uh, a few hours. I know I could stream for an hour and stuff like that, do hour impressions, but you know, I'm not all about that. I'm not all about that, dude. I'm not about, um, you know, um, playing your game for an hour and saying I'm done with it. No, I, I really feel like a true first impression, you need to put some time into it. You need to allow uh, yourself to learn the mechanics. You can't always suspect, and this is the problem, like with some, uh, some first impressions. You know, if you do the hour first impressions, how, you're just now getting into the game within an hour. So you're not able to show the main points of your game of your game so you i mean you really if you want driftwood to play your game efficient you know make it a simple game put them in a dungeon make them fight a boss you know to the good part of your game like real talk mage master 22 and he does rpg maker games let's go so let me go ahead and put a note of that. I'm definitely, I'm definitely want to follow more Let's Players. You know what I mean? I want to follow more Let's Players. And I think that's probably why Tron left RPG Maker. <clears throat> you know what I mean? I think, I think uh, Tron, I mean not Tron, uh, Toasty left RPG Maker is because he did say that he don't want to be known for just doing RPG Maker. 
games because the community is so small. So he want to branch out to those other communities where he could get more and grow his channel as, you know, as much as he can. So that's another thing to consider too. And I started this channel with the idea of just playing all games made by any engine, any individual, you know, first impressions of Metrovanias, first impressions of Game Board game game board games, first impressions of fighting games, first impressions of sports games, first impressions of RPG games, first impressions of impressions of racing games any game that's made by a solo developer or team i wanted to do first impressions of that <laughs> i wanted to do first impressions of those games but rpg maker just sucked me in because i like rpgs a lot i like rpgs a lot and it just i feel like rpgs are easy to play you know what I mean? When the last male part one playthrough is your biggest video. Man, like a lot of these streamers, developers, I'm definitely growing to know who they are. Growing to know who they are. I mean, they're being talked about. I just don't know who they are individually. So I'm definitely, you know, learning more about in the community. That's this is why I ask questions, guys. This is why I ask questions. Those who are in the community longer, they have more knowledge, they can share it with me. That's why I join Driftwood Gaming's Discord. I'm in Hot Zombies Discord. I believe I'm in Studio Blues Discord. The top, the top RPG maker streamers or you know, contributors, I'm in their Discord because I want to know who these people are and YouTube, Twitch, Tumblr. What you mean, Tumblr? Oh, this individual? YouTube. You can't stream, you can't stream on Tumblr, can you? Look at Amori. I guarantee they spent money. People like Amori, but I never played the game. I never played that game. Uh, marketing. Let's talk about that. Marketing. Remember that game, Mango, Make Mischief, that I played the other day? Where they had a Kickstarter and they made $1,000. But the game was ma mainly RTP. And it was basically made... By someone who just learned RPG Maker as a novice. And they just created on the game. And they had a successful Kickstarter. They made more than what they asked for. And they also got somebody to uh, do a reward as a digital book for them. You know, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I'm pretty sure they didn't have any type of knowledge of marketing and stuff like that. Uh, marketing is how you choose and how you do it. You know, you could pay, you could pay Google, you could pay a, a third party company a whole bunch of money to market it for you, or you could just do everything yourself and just go go ham on social media and market your own game yourself. I mean, you go both ways with marketing. You know, marketing does take a a chunk, a percentage to, you know, to show your game. But, but it don't really cost that much money to market. Unless you, even the big companies don't really spend a lot of money in marketing. They budget themselves probably like a couple thousand a year. And I'm talking about like McDonald's, Wendy's. They probably don't even spend that much to market unless they go tele. I'm not even talking about te television and stuff like that. Of course, they spend money on that. But social media, a lot of companies is using social media to market. 
to be honest. They using TikTok, they using Facebook, they using uh you know uh Twitch, Twitter. They doing everything in their mama to market. They're not really spending uh money like you think they're spending. You know what I mean? I'm pretty sure they um spending not even a hundred dollars a month. Probably not even fifty dollars a month just to market. You know, because you're not marketing anything uh physical unless you got physical copies. It's all digital. So we in the digital world, so why not use the internet to market? Time or money, you're spending one of them. Time or money, yeah, but at the same time, what they say, you um scared money make no money. Or you you know, you spend no money, you make no money. You know what I mean? Like you got to spend either one, of course, but at the same time, you know, in the end, it may be profitable to you. I'd rather go, I'd rather go the free route. <laughs> I'd rather go the free route. You know, learn how to create a nice trailer yourself. Use the internet. Go on tutorials. Uh, try to do everything yourself and not rely on somebody on fiverr or or whatnot you know learn to invest in that time to know how to do your own uh logos and your own whatever market yourself market yourself and this guy you know he if you checked out his youtube channel he he got everybody and their mama clips of them playing their game on his website. I mean on his uh on his um you know YouTube channel. So he's definitely definitely um doing what he got to do. For a video game, you got to spend a year networking and getting the name out there. Exactly. Look at Sanctuary Games. Goal just hit a thousand, ten thousand followers on his game page. 10,000. You know what I mean? Like, he's definitely getting his name out there. Who doesn't know about The Last Chronomancer? Who don't know about uh, Trailblazer? Who don't know about Neo Soul Gamer? His game, Haven. A lot of people know about these individuals because they spend time on social media. You know what I mean? So they're marketing their, their game really good. You know what I mean? I ran a Google ad campaign for a month. Didn't do anything. But it, it exposed your game maybe to the wrong audience. But your game got some exposure. It probably just got shown to the perp to the people who didn't care about your game. You know what I mean? Like if I run a if I run an ad today for my YouTube channel. I may get a couple subscribers, but three three thousand people may may see it, but I may get like five subscribers. You know what I mean? That's how it works. But it's something. It's something. You get what you you get what you pay for. I mean, a lot of these big companies they spend thousands just on on Google ads. You know, person like us, we don't got the money like talking about. So we don't really spend a ton of money. You know what I mean? We don't really spend a ton of money on uh on games. I mean on uh ads because we don't have that we don't have that bread like that. You know what I mean? We don't got that bread. But I mean to each to each their own. To each their own. If you got what it takes to like to like uh market yourself or if you want streamers to market your game for you, then you spend that money. You know. That's where Driftwood Gaming come into play. 
I don't know if Studio Blue charges for their I don't know. Like I maybe they do charge. I don't know. Do Studio Blue charge? Ten thousand views, ten thousand one thousand clicks, one hundred buys. If you're lucky. If you're lucky. Studio Blue is free. What? Studio Oh yeah, Studio Blue is free. Studio Blue is free. Gotta steal the Nintendo audience. Facts. I agree. I agree. You got this. <clears throat> you know, like. Yo, what's up? Mooga Red Page. I did not see you, dude. I did not see you. <laughs> Message that mage guy. Not going to pass that up. Facts. I wouldn't pass. I wouldn't pass it up either, Harlequin. I wouldn't pass that up either. You crazy if you do. You know what I mean? You crazy if you do, my dude. But, uh, yeah. Twitch could be wonky. Definitely gonna look that guy up because I wanna support Anybody that I can, especially RPG Maker. See, that's the thing. I don't want to be like tied down to RPG Maker. I think that's what that that's definitely what Toasty was like. Really, really um explaining this up. Like, I don't know, man. If Drifty got tired of playing RPG Maker games and uh and and put up a paywall. I don't know, man. D7 might gotta do the same. Nah, I'm joking. Haha. <laughs> I'm joking. Yo, appreciate it, Mugu Rampage for the bits. Hey, dude. Uh, I don't know. That was just me. I, you know, you have not because you asked not, right? You know not because you're not acquired, right? So definitely acquired because I was curious on um you know what y'all what y'all really feel about paying to get your game um looked at. I got my retros. This I'm trying to find. Brent Ronson mentioned this game. I'm gonna give it a shot. Shadow Gate. Shadow Freaking Gate by Kim Cove. But like I tell like I tell everybody, man, uh if you want if you want me to play your game. Just send it to my email, d757gaming.com. I got more games I do got to play. I got other, I got some more Steam keys that people gave me. I got to redeem those to play. You know, I got more content on the way. More games, more titles you guys may not even heard of. So that's good. And that's, I think that's why I don't want to have a paywall because I'd be missing out on a lot of games if I did have a paywall think so you know who gonna want to give me a uh a steam key if i'm charging 90 dollars the jewels words ring in your ears within the castle shadow gate lies your quest the dreaded warlock lord will lose his black magic raise the behemoths from the dark death. and i don't have no problem with drifty see i don't think he'll ever see my videos because I don't even know he subscribed to me. But I'm good, guys. I'm good. <laughs> I'm freaking safe. I'm joking. The combination of his evil arts and the great titan power will surely destroy us all. 
You are the last of the line of kings to see a prophecy that was foretold aeons ago. Only you could stop evil one from the darkening our world forever. Fare thee well. Gritting your teeth, you swear by your God's name that you will <laughs> destroy the warlock lord. <laughs> Alright man, how the heck do I play this game? Okay, I look at the door or open it. Uh, move. You have to open the door before you go through it. Okay, open. Door. The door's open. It's the door leading into the castle's shadow gate. Oh, snap. Shadow gate is one of the games I tried to emulate a little bit with the rummy system. Less puzzly, but the aesthetic. Fantastic, whatever. Oh yeah, Harlick, I want to congratulate you, man, on uh, on your little class thing. Topping number one in his class. Congratulations, my good sir. That pitiful wizard, Lakamir, was a fool to send a buffoon like you to stop me. You will surely regret it. For the only thing here for you is a horrible death. The sound of maniacal laughter echoes in your ears. He in the skull, by the way. This guy, I can't, I can't play no game with this dude. Giving me some spoilers. Okay, I have to open the door, dude. The door is locked. Move. Oh, I have to go back. No, that's the only place I can go. What about side? You have to open the door. So open this. Door's locked. Okay. Um. Dang it. What about look? This wooden door for the store. There's still. Even though this door is only thick, it is very sturdy. So what about hit the door? Nothing happened. Nothing happened. Alright, my dude. You have a good one. Spear. Alright, so... Close the door behind me. Oh, wow. So, I have to open this door. Move. Out of there. My God. What about look? Okay. Speak. Speak to the door. What you expect? It hasn't happened. <laughs> Nah, this they ain't gonna make this game this freaking uh. Alright, what about hit the door? No, speak to the door. What you expect? That hasn't happened. Okay. Can you look at the stuff on the screen? I can't see Jack. Oh, I could take the, uh, okay, so take this. Okay, I got a torch. Okay, I got two torches. Oh. I could open that, right? That's a little closet. The door is locked. Oh, so I gotta burn. Use torch. Torch is lit. Use it on this door. Or oh, hit it. Hit it with the torch. 
What the heck am I supposed to do? Oh my god. What trap door? This? Nothing. Oh, do I, uh, use it? Open. Look. Yeah, that's locked, dude. Open this door. Maybe burn it with a torch. Use on this door. It or speak. Leave. You can't drop what you didn't take. No. Hit with the torch. Use the torch. Oh my god. So hit the panel. Nothing happened. Okay, take the torch outside. All right, so move out of here. This is the entrance. You can hear a house deep behind you. Oh, so do I leave? Since I got Okay close the door The skull is closed Oh so I open the skull Oh shoot Okay take the key Oh man, this is crazy. I open the door. I never played this game, guys. Never played this game. Use key on this. Key doesn't fit. See me wasting time. What about this door? Oh, I gotta select it. Stop playing. Click the key work. It unlocked the door. The stone wall. Leave is drop an item, I think. The stone wall seems uncomfortably close as you walk down the stairs. Alright, so. Look at this. It's an ancient tome. It seems that no one has disturbed its pages for centuries. Alright. So let me take that then. Let me take it. When you remove the book from its pedestal. The floor collapses and you fall to your death. It's a sad thing your adventure has it. Man why y'all ain't say nothing? Knowing I was about to die. Alright, let's move. 
The stone in these walls were probably cut by the hands of enslaved mountain dwarves. You have to open the door before you go through it. So let's open this door. This door. The door is open. They okay, move into this door. A shark swims as if patrolling this calm pool. Okay. Let's look over here. This metal door shows significant signs of rust. Alright, so let's... I know the shark gonna get us. I know the shark gonna get us. Haha! <laughs> Yo, what's up, Lux Trooper? Man, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Dog Drop Kicker. Yo, how you been, man? It's been a while since I seen this name. You have to open the door before you go through. I can't open the door if I can't get over there. What? Nah, man. The shark gonna get me. This game is not accurate if... Oh, okay, I guess it is. Water cascades over a subterranean cliff into a cool, cool, clean stream. Alright, so I look. This landslide looks like it occurred ages ago. I would take you, it would take you months to clear it away. Uh, can I take a pebble? Stones in hand. Can't take it. How many stone I could take? Okay. Um, what about... Cold water cascade down the cliff to a small stream. Alright. So, I don't think I could do anything here. So, let's go back. The subterranean cavern has been carved by centuries of erosion. Right, let's move here. The stone these walls were probably cut by the hands of door slaves. Your torches go out with a fizzle. With outstretched arm, you move slowly, looking for a light. Suddenly, you trip over something. Smash, you fall face first to the floor. It's a sad thing that your adventure have and how how Let's get out of here shark probably eat you but if you try to take that key back there I didn't even see a key let me see oh You can't reach it from here. Swimming the shark infested pool would be suicidal. Man, good eyes, dude. Good freaking eye. You have to open the door. Doors open. This long cold hallway is lying on either side by half a dozen coffins. Uh, with <laughs> okay, uh, open them. Oh! As you open the coffin, a banshee flies out in the midst of ear-shattering scream. You're all right, but it's very hard to hear. What do you mean? A mummy stands silently before you. Go ahead. The lid of a coffin is open. This green slime is quite disgusting. I thought that was like a dead body. Oh, wow. It done, it done swallowed me up. The slime done swallowed me up. 
All right, so let's move. We can't move. Okay. This room is full of mirrors. Reminds you of the Elven Funhouse at King's Auto's Fair. Okay, so look at the mirror. This mirror throws back a fine reflection. This mirror has a carved oak frame. The mirror has a carved oak frame. Alright, so can we take this broom? What is this, a broom? This broom looks remarkably like the one owned by the sirens of the Isle of Yeklam Irit. Alright, so let's uh, take that Mamma Jamma and maybe we could hit, break the mirror. Broom is in hand. We got torches. Let's freaking go. I think because our torch went out, we died. Okay, let's use the broom on the mirror. I know neatness counts, but there would seem to be better ways to spend your time. Okay. I guess you can only, uh, one of those coffins had a bag. Nine plus. Go to the shark. Oh. Talk to the skeleton. All right, let me. Let me go back to the shark. All right, so maybe I could use the broom to kind of out, you know, the uh, get the key, you know, fish the key. Nope. So maybe you could only uh, your torch goes out with a fizzle. Oh, so once your torch go out, you're dead? I got three torches, though. Man, that's stupid. So how do you talk to this? Speak to the skeleton. Don't understand what I'm saying. Oh my gosh. Why? Alright, what is this? Trap door. It's very dark. So let's go in there then. You jump down the hole and after a couple moments hit the floor. It seems that you have broken both your legs. It's only a matter of time before you got Come on. You can light a new one when your current torch is low. How do I know it's low or not in this look lit up? The whole time it looks lit up, dude. Alright, so let's open the one with the mummy. Like, can I speak to the mummy? What you expect that hasn't happened? Take the mummy. It's too heavy to lift. Uh, uh, hit the mummy. Nothing happened. Back to is open. Copy corn. Popcorn. Copper coin. Can't open that one. Take the bag. Okay. Don't know what to do with that. 
Oh, they changed to a smaller flame. Alright, so... What about... Oh, shoot. This door. So my flame did... Go out when I went in. Okay. You enter a cold room. The stench of flesh and decay pervades the small chamber. You begin to shiver. This room is really cold. Alright, so let's uh, open this. Doors open. What is this? It's a large pedestal with iron trim. Like... How my how my flame went out? It was still lit. Oh, that gotta be the bigger flame looking like that. I mean, it looked big. Shoot. And let me take some more torches. You know what? They should. Okay, now I'm smaller. So. So use torch. Because I'm tired of dying. Oh. Oh you can have it. Uh, both going. Alright. Let's let's go in this mamma jamma. A broken fragment of a wooden ladder hangs from the opening. Come on. Like realistically. Are. Is this how we actually going to be uh, moving inside this thing? Realistically. It's not going to happen. Alright, let's, let's open this door. Doors open. Let's take the flint. Take the, uh, the torches. You know what it seems this game seems to have like a little cheat thing going on. Alright, let's use this torch. Alright, they both flip. Let's freaking go. Move. Fear grits you as you enter this hot room. A hot room. You know, we need a spear. Take the spear. Oh, shoot. Whoosh. Flame shoots from the dragon's mouth. Dragon flame engulfs your body. You pay with curiosity with your life. Like, is everything a death trap in this game? Take the spear, the shield. You can't use it? Okay. Take the spear. Still got the shield, right? All right. So you already know the next time we dead. So I guess we use the spear on the shark. And there's a torch right there too. But I don't think we're going to. I don't think we're going to make it. Alright. So use the shield. I mean the spear. To get the key. To fish the key. No. Oh, that ain't gonna work. So I can't. I can't stab the shark. Man. This is crazy. Okay. So let's. 
Shoot, what was in this room? No, it's not gonna work. Alright, um... Trim. Or do I get the, the skeleton the coins? I don't know. Alright, this room is hot, so let's get the axe. The hammer. Again, flames view. Attention, it's getting hot. So I guess I go in and out, in and out, just pick up stuff. Alright, what about if I use... Use hammer. Alright, let me light my flame. Go back in and take the helmet. Let me take this torch. Think I'm dead. Darn it. That killed me. Open it. All right, so you can't take two two hits in a row with that fire stuff. All right, so what am I supposed to do? Let's go here. It's home. You know what? What is this? What if I put the the stone on the pedestal? Because it seems like it could be weighted, right? Yeah, we probably got it. It's called Shadow Shadow Gate. It's an old NES game. Never played it, but I heard, you know, heard good things about it. Lead stone on the pedestal. Nope. Can't do it like that. It seems to be a, uh, a puzzle game. 
it's no, there's no fighting, nothing like that. For uh, a NES game, man, like the mechanics, can is good. Use E on this door. He doesn't fit. All right, so I'm going to say maybe I use the hammer on that. Uh, it's a Thorian romance. Romance. Yo, what's up, Nikarasu? I think I used the hammer here. Okay, I think. So hit with the hammer. Oh, I used the hammer. This, nothing happened. Seem to be wasting your time. Ah. Open. It won't open. Take. Can't take it. Okay. Alright. So, uh, what about... Copper coin. I thought we had copper coins. Oh, those spells. Now we don't... All right, so let's go here. That's where the dragon's at. Ouch, you bumped your head. How my torch went out. Man, you gotta be careful with these torches. Seem like they'll go out on you anytime. Torches lit. Alright. Let's try this again. Because I have no freaking clue what to do. So do we throw the stone at the key, at the uh at the key? Nothing happened. Uh take take it. Bag two. What's in bag two? Open bag two? Okay, cop copy coin. So do I give uh use copy coin Oh my gosh So hit Stone I don't know, man. Wasn't here for the last because you had on the state of things in the community. I agree with almost everything you said except for charging money. Yo, what's up, Neo? How you doing?
I think you should be charged to, for your time, personally. Uh, just can't do it, man. Just can't do it. Not, I, I don't feel like I'm in that position to even think about charging people. I'm more like trying to, trying, still trying to get my name out there. Still trying to learn more about the community. You know, I feel like people like you. People like, uh, you know, Nicarasu, uh, Jeff has way more knowledge, way more, you know, expertise uh, than myself to give to um, to um, to these developers. Only thing I do is just play these games, dude, and like give my opinion. But other than that, like, you know. Mechanic wise or plugin wise, uh, I don't think I'm there yet, man. I don't think I'm there yet. I don't think uh, that's just that's just how I feel like personally. Not there yet, and I'm fine with that. I'm fine with just believing uh, that about myself because you know I gotta have some type of standard. For this channel. You look at things as a whole controversy. Charging for plugins. People don't understand what goes on behind the scene. To produce content products. Now I'm not saying... I don't think I said anything about chargeable plugins. Uh, I mean, I know why people do charge for plugins because it's a pain to make. I know they're a pain to make, but man, this guy. This guy got me in the hot seat. <laughs> Neil would do that to you that I I heard. You know what? Let me get these torches. But I feel you, man. But I just, you know. Maybe down the line, I may have something in play of that. But it probably won't be like um, no time soon. I don't know, man. I don't know. Can't really, can't really tell the future. The stones in these ones. See, I, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. The toast, the toast video was fire. I like, I like, I like that. Oh, don't I hit the mirror with the stone? I think that's what I do. Makes sense. Nothing happened. Come on, man. So you don't throw the stone at the mirror. Oh, use. Really? I guess that's not what you do. Torch is about to go out. So if you're offering product, product content that people want, you have the reason in the world to monetize that. And you know what? I, I agree 100% with that. Uh, Neo Soul Gamer, like you're one of the people in the community that I really respect. You know what I mean? The reason, you know, like if I know your game is good, you know, and I want to feel right, I just wouldn't feel right just charging people. You know what I'm saying? Because 
I feel I, I I believe I believe in the bigger blessing. You know what I mean? I believe karma. You do good for others, others will be doing good for you. You know, I I felt like there wasn't enough people playing RPG maker games for people who don't really have any buy to play their games. And in the itch community got me interested in doing that because one every time you go on itch.io you look at people projects they either don't have any downloads or no comments so i figured hey you know let me uh be that person to play their game you know what i'm saying let me live stream the game try to play the game the best of my ability and so they could see how people react to the game all right, that's the birth of D seven five seven gaming. That's that's the birth. You know, I did it with your game. I did it with um, Isaiah and Israel. Even though you guys came to me, but when I look at your playthroughs of your first impressions, and you told me why you stopped doing the first impressions, you know, you kind of you kind of got to like rate yourself against the greats. You know what I'm saying? Now, P I understand people. See me as Bob Ross of of RPG Maker. You know, um, I'm positive. Um, you know, I say good things. I'm not negative, nor do I try to hurt people's feelings. But when you watch your playthroughs or, you know, the other people, even Drifty's playthroughs, you know, you kind of understand what y'all are saying. Y'all putting knowledge behind that. You know, it's like going to school for a doctor's degree. You know, the doctors charge so much money because they, you know, they're paying for their knowledge, you know. And I'm pretty I'm pretty sure Drifty is probably charging because of his knowledge. Not even the fact that he has a huge following, maybe because of his knowledge, maybe because something in, you know, something has proven he's probably proven uh, that his knowledge do work for other people's projects who may have went commercial and may have uh, listened to what Driftwood Gaming had to say and use his um, use his, um, his advice in order for them to create a, a good game. You know what I mean? Like, he he has that knowledge, you know, more than I do. And I'm still learning. You know, when I look at my chat, you know, during like my live streams and stuff, when I'm playing a game, the knowledge is in the chat. You feel what I'm saying? Everybody in that chat has knowledge to somewhat degree. Some may know more than other. Some may not. Some may know knowledge of plugins. Some may not. Until I'm able to fill those shoes in, you know, like those people, I don't feel like I'm worried enough to charge. You know, that's why I have the little tip thing. If they want to leave me a tip, bam, they can do so. I'm fine off the ad revenue. I, I you know, I can make so many uh, dollars a video that I do. But at the same time, I just feel like me personally right now, I'm not at that level to charge $30, $40 for somebody to play, um, to play their game. Because, I'm, you know, I'm still growing. You know what I'm saying? I'm technically I'm still growing. You know, as a streamer, you know, uh I'm starting to like see different things and just, you know, I'm I'm growing as well. I'm leveling up. <laughs> I'm leveling up as well, man. And just like when you uh message me, when you message me about um the developer using some of your assets, I'm not gonna say who they were. But, you know, that's the knowledge a pro streamer should have, given the fact that I played your game. You feel what I'm saying? Some things, some things, uh, when you're a professional, you should be able to see things and catch it and say, oh, no, this isn't good. And not just rely on the developer themselves. So I think I need a little bit more experience points in order to like put myself on the on the level where you know I'm charging for this, I'm charging for that. But right now, you know, I'm content to where I'm at. 
You know, I'd rather do the community. I'd rather do the community membership stuff. You know, people's going to support you regardless because people have done send me gifts. They son did me, you know, they send me tips. Those developers would definitely be uh, appreciative of me. You feel what I'm saying? But right now, I just feel like uh, I can't put, I, I, I can't give back what they're, what they're looking for. You feel what I'm saying? Like. I, I just can't do it. I know I'm giving them a lot because they always say, thank you. Thank you for playing my game. I, I didn't expect you to play my game for so long. You know, that's what makes me feel good. That's payment. That's payment. Subscribers, likes, you know, viewers. It's payment right now. You know, I don't want to commercialize. I mean, of course, who doesn't like money? You know, I like money. You know what I'm saying? Who doesn't? But right now, I just feel like I have to earn that. I have to earn that position. I'm fine with you two sending me a couple hundred dollars here and there. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. You know, until I get to that point where I'm considered, uh, uh, I can make a business out of this or go full time with it. Then maybe, you know, I probably do what Drifty doing or anybody else charging for our play. I just don't think that's enough, man. I, I, me personally, I just don't think that's long enough to really give the developer uh, a chance to see how people react to their games. But I do agree with one thing that was said, um, you know, and, and, and I come to the conclusion is this, you know, Drift, Drift would charge for his knowledge, consultancy fee, you know what I mean? Like businesses does have that consultancy fees and stuff like that you know i just feel like my consultants are my viewers you know people that's in the chat giving uh the developer advice those are my consultants those are the loyal subjects of d757 gaming and you know and that's critical information to the developer on what to take and put in for their game because you know as developers you know, you guys spend hundreds and thousands of hours on your projects. You know exactly what works for your project. And, and you know, I really can't match y'all level right now. I can't match y'all level. I know a little bit, you know, about what you need to do and how to make your game better from a player standpoint. But as a developer standpoint, you know, um, you know, maybe... Those are what other people prices because of their developer knowledge. So you, Neo Soul Gamer, when you when I watch your video, you're so eloquent. You like your speech, your your terms, your uh your language itself. It's like you're speaking the RPG maker language. You know how to write a story, you know how to create character. That's what people really need to be paying for like you my dude you my dude you need to start charging for um <laughs> for for your plays like real talk no everything i hear about you is positive everything i hear about you is positive never heard anything negative about you or sanctuary games as a whole never heard it and i and you know, I'm a humble myself. I'm a humble person. I'm not on y'all level. I'm not. You know what I mean? All the thing I can offer is D757 Dark Man will play your game for this amount of hours. Yeah, maybe I could become somebody like that. Maybe. Maybe. But is that what the developers really need? Do they need because anybody can play their game. Anybody. Any streamer, any small streamer like myself is hungry for content. Like, straight up. We're hungry for content. That's why I play the good games. That's why I play the bad games. Because I feel like everybody and their mama need a chance to have their game showcased. And that's how I started. That's how I started. I mean, that's, you know, that's how I'm, you know, trying to grow myself. As uh, not necessary RPG games, but 
any game that is made by a small developer, you know, I would like, you know, play it and get my feedback to that. But, you know, I'm pretty sure if you had something like uh, an hour of your time to analyze your game and to give you uh, recommendations of what you can do, Neo Soul Gamer would definitely become a digital RPG maker household name. You know, your game is already ringing bells. You know what I mean? People, even Nick Arasu loves your game. He even said that you are my favorite African-American person. Like, <laughs> that's what he said in his videos. Like, he, even Nick Arasu, who's really tough and really strict on developers. Like, you know, he, 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 he respects you. You feel what I'm saying? And that's what Drifty has. Drifty has that. Uh, a lot of people have that. Yo. Lux Trooper. Appreciate the subscription, man. Appreciate you. A lot of people have that. And I feel like, you know, even though Drifty has 20,000 subscribers, you know, I cannot. Some of my videos, I can match his views and stuff like that. But numbers means everything. You know what I mean? Numbers means everything. Until like I can match those numbers, if I can guarantee you a thousand views per video, then I don't need to be charging. That's just how I feel. If I cannot guarantee you, you know, the marketing, the marketing for your game, I I can't charge you. I can't charge you. I can't charge you. Like straight up, straight up, straight up. That's just honest. But I I'm definitely am learning i'm still learning and playing games like uh right things game and Ron's legacy from beginning to the end exploring um uh, exploring um uh, this place and that place you know uh i really enjoyed that game you know I, I bought the game i supported it you know what i mean that's that's the reason why i don't I don't want to change how you feel, but that's just how I feel. You know, I feel like I'm I'm gonna be blessed, and I've been blessed. I've been blessed. Like, you know, I I got PayPal tips. You know, I got super chat tips. I got Steam keys. I was I was able to interact with the community by giving out Steam keys during my live streams. Like, it's a lot of things I can do. I'm making probably more in value than what people is actually paying Driftwood Gaming to play their game. You feel what I'm saying? Like that's just how I feel. I'm I'm making more value just just doing what I'm doing. But if I want to do this full time, if I want to do this full time, then it'll be it'll be the time to like make revisions and make decisions and stuff like that. And I don't want to enable myself to something where uh, look what happened between Nikarasu and uh, Driftwood Gaming. You know, everybody that played Nikarasu's game done beat it within an hour's time. You know what I mean? Like, done beat it. No problem. Didn't have no problem with the puzzle. I agree with everything Nikarasu is saying. Maybe Nikarasu is the first person that really stepped up and said anything about the situation. You know what I mean? Who wants to be ousted or labeled as a bad person within the community? So some people just, you know, probably just, you know, shrug it off. Like, okay, um, at least I got something out of it. But, you know, to each their own, to each their own. You know, you make your own money. You spend your own money. You could do whatever you want with it. I don't pay your bills. You don't pay my bills. All I know is... If it makes you happy, it makes you happy, you know, but just like Bird Bunch offered me money to play their game, I refused it. I don't. Because one, Bird Bunch supported me plenty of times with tips, with uh, engagement in the videos, giving developers, um, giving developers uh, advice, you know, on how to make their project better. That's what I want. That's payment. You know, that's that's what I strive for. Every time I go live, 
and just seeing, I don't care if it's one person in there. It's one person in there. The environment definitely did change, Nikarasu. Like that last video, definitely did it, it it definitely changed. I don't know what it was, but it should have been like that from beginning to the end. If it frustrates you, let it frustrate you. Like like labor your frustration, but don't take it to the point where the developer the developer is is like, oh my gosh, you know, uh I didn't expect this. And you got to think about it. Your followers is going to do what you're going to do. Majority of the time, your 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 followers who going to follow who follows you and is dedicated to your channel, they're going to agree with your opinions. They're going to agree with you. Whenever Drifty say, "Oh, this game is so hard." You could look at the chat. Everybody was responding to that without even trying the game. They just saw them struggling and already came up to a judgment that you need to change this. But you actually played the game. It's not as hard as you think it is. And that's the problem. That's the problem. You know what I mean? That's the problem. You got to play it, though. It's an, and, and the problem is when people see something new, they start complaining and they can't and they can't uh, they're going to find something an issue with it. And they knew about because they're not used to that. And Bird Bunch's game, Bird Bunch's game is another. I mean, I played it. No problem. If I play that game now, I'm so fast. I'm so quick. You know what I mean? And I was trying to reassure T and Drifty in the chat that I beat it. You know, it's, it's no problem. You just got to get used to the controllers. You just got to get used to it. And I feel like once you, once a person spend their money, it's like a fast food restaurant too. We spend our money. We want to get fresh food. Tasty food, nothing spoiled, nothing that can definitely, you know, that's why I'm positive when I play because I know the time, sweat, blood, sweat, and tears that you guys put in your games. So I'm not going to say your game is stupid. I'm not going to say this is dumb. For what? Because then I'm going to have other people saying the same thing about the game. You know what I mean? D7 don't like this. I ain't gonna like it either. That's what happens. Drifty don't like this game. He said it's hard. I'm not gonna waste it. You could just look at the chat and see how everybody, everybody tried to bash Bird Bunch's game. Everybody. Every you just you just gotta look at it. You got those individuals that's just you know they're they're yes men. I'm not trying to start no beef, but they're yes men. You got to be careful. It's like a celebrity. You know, people will do whatever a celebrity say because of their status. And you got to think about it. You know, that's what happens. People start agreeing with the streamer where the streamer is not in the right. You know what I mean? Like, that's just my opinion, man. That's, everything is my opinion. Everything is my opinion. And like I always tell the to tell the developers, anything I say in this video is my opinion and my opinion only, and it's not subject for you to change anything in your game. You could take my opinion as a grain of salt, or you could just, you know, you could just follow my advice and make the changes. Some developers uh may make that change because two people say. But what I like about Bird, Bird Bunch, Bird Bunch said this, my game isn't for everybody and I'm fine with that. Like, whatever you say is not going to make me change my mind or my game. Why? You got a beautiful battle system. You know, we never seen a battle system like that. You know, where... One, people's already people are already going to complain about the game anyway because one, 
They can't level up. <laughs> they can't level up. What did the developer say about not leveling up? The player levels up. That's the reward. The player gets good. So if you're not allowing yourself and not and stop thinking tradition RPGs when you play Kendra's novel, of course you're gonna fail. And the whole time people were just saying, You don't level up, you don't do this, this is you don't have enough time to think. One, you don't have a lot of items to really think about. You don't really have a lot of items. To think about. So. I ain't know. Everything is not for everybody. And apparently that game. Wasn't for the streamers. <laughs> that wasn't for the streamers. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Like that wasn't for the streamers. But. I love the stream. I love the Driftwood stream. Of Kendrick Novel. I was surprised for a third time. It just shows you that um, Bird Bunch loved the community. And he wanted to, um, to um, you know, support the channel. And that's how Bird Bunch is. But Neo Soul Gamer definitely appreciate the, the kind words, sir. Like, you know, I really, I really enjoy your game. And whenever you ask me to play your game, you know, like, like you are recognized. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not trying to brown nose or anything, but uh, you don't see a lot of African-American uh, people play RPGs. You know, like when Fallen Feather, that guy is an African-American. When he came in the stream and say, man... Thank you, D757 Gaming, for allowing me to share my game with your chat. We done raised five thousand five hundred dollars. That's an African American. Like, I love my people. I love all people. You feel what I'm saying? Like, real talk. But we are minorities in the RPG maker world. You know what I mean? A lot of African Americans play sports games. They talk about Madden. They talk about football, basketball. That's all we play. But you cannot talk, you cannot walk up to any black person and say, hey man, what do you think about the new Final Fantasy coming out? What do you think about RPG Maker game, uh, Haven coming out? They're going to be like, huh? Because we don't, I mean, we normally don't play those games. You know what I'm saying? We're not, we're not really nerds. You know, we're like, we're like the, um, the, uh, the mystery skittle. In the in the in the you know we're like the mystery flavor inside a bag of, of original Skittles, you know. So it's good it's good to see that, and you don't really see a lot of black people streaming RPG Maker games. I probably see on a handful just me, and that's it. <laughs> that's all I see is me. I'm pretty sure more people exist, but it's just me. You know what I mean? But it's not about color. Ozzy have been Israel. Uh, people didn't like his game. Mana Raiders. I mean, I know it was tough, but the battle system, the way, the way his action sequencing is, is just oh my gosh! I fell in love with it. I fell in love with it. But Toasty, Toasty Time, called it everything. He loved the battle system, but he's just started. I am tired of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? He started Delta. Yeah, Delta's good too. He just got tired of tired of it. You know what I mean? But yeah, man. I mean that's that's my views. That's where I stand on that. But if Neil I, I can't I can't charge you, Neil. I can't charge you if if you ask me to play your game. I just can't or Brent Rawson. You know, me and Brent Rawson, we represent the seven five seven. You know, even if he didn't represent the 757, you know, can you imagine I would not play a game if he did not pay me? That's how I'm looking at it. You know, I would have missed out on uh, Trials of Cascadia. 
if if um I had to charge him. Like, that's how I look at it. Look how much games you could miss out if you refuse to pay uh pay that. Another reason why I don't charge. I'm missing out on a lot of games. So and you look how many times I play uh Dungeon Rummage another Izakai. You know what I mean? Like Harlequin is very supportive of this channel. He's very supportive. You know, I think I did a I did a stream where I wanted to 100%. I wanted to 100% the game. You know what I mean? And I did that. It took me like 5 hours to do it. One to, to get every achievement. Not because I wanted to or I was doing a giveaway of the game is because I respect Harlequin as an individual and as a friend, even though we haven't met in real life, this guy is very supportive of my channel. He's normally the first person in on Twitch. He's normally the first person there. You know, he's normally he gives me advice or what I can do, you know, to uh you know, to engage the viewers and stuff like that. The guy is the guy is amazing. The guy is freaking amazing. Like, and you know, he got a bad reputation for being a harsh reviewer and stuff like that. But at the same time, you gotta you gotta know who your peoples are. You gotta know who your peoples are, who you can rock with, who you're in, and whatnot. You know what I mean? So, so definitely, you know, I met I met a I met plenty of great people in this community and you know some people done said uh some people done say that uh you know I'm a I'm gonna be great in this community and I believe it. I believe it. I believe it and it goes to show I may not be growing like getting t thousands of subscribers or hundreds of subscribers you know but they're coming in you know people people is is starting to know who d757 gaming is you know but not try to boost my ego without you guys it wouldn't be anything and you gotta think about it without the fans there's nobody there's there wouldn't be no drifty there wouldn't be no uh no Hawk Zombie, no Studio Blue if it wasn't for the viewers. So, you know, you gotta you gotta give back to the viewers. And majority of my viewers are devs. I don't know how many non devs watch these videos, but I'm pretty sure I have non dev viewers as well. But those who are brave enough to come in and speak are the developers. So, I got to get my thanks. If if somebody say, D7, can you play my game the next day? Or Moogle Rampage say, can you play Soul Survivor? I can't say him. I can't tell him no. He already support the channel. You know, Nikarasu say, play, uh, I got to play his other game, his Wave Rider. He supports the channel. You know, he watched my videos. He, you know... He he does uh you know they they do a lot they do a lot for the channel so I definitely definitely don't mind replaying games you know what I mean because you know I believe in that karma all depends on the person Nico because sometimes the alternative is that the person just leaves the community because they wasn't anything keeping them active and I agree I agree. Like you pay a girl only fan to ask her if she likes you. And I know, man, I know a lot of people probably ask me to play their game, subscribe, and never come back. I know those people exist. I know that. I know that. Like like uh like what's the problem? What's the problem? You gotta think about it. What's the problem? I know those non-return viewers is going to exist. And people do it all the time. Like, I play their game. They're gone for months. They're gone for months. Then they just pop up out of nowhere. How am I supposed to feel about those individuals? Am I supposed to uh 
get revenge on them by never playing their game again. Or just shun them out. Or do whatever they want. Sometimes you got to have discerning. Discernment. Sometimes you got to have discernment. Now, if I had a paywall, then yeah, it would probably be different. People is not going to take me for granted. They're going to be serious. They're going to be serious down to business because they got to spend that. They got to spend that guap. They got to spend that bread. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what? In Greek mythology, when you die, some people go to Elysium, but you have to be a hero to go there. And I do believe D7 will go there. He is a YouTube hero. And, uh, man, like, I don't like taking credit for nothing. But at the same time, you know, it, you know, those words feels really good. I love hearing those words because, you know, thinking about it, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you guys. You know, Rafa Wood, I play. He he he's like a developer who has tons of games that's that's unique. You know his style is unique. You know, and you gotta respect him as a developer. Even Nico respected Rafa Wood. You know what I mean as a developer. He he clearly said that the game ain't for him, but he respects the game. He respects the game. We are talking about. Ne uh Neo Soul Gamer asked me why am he think I should charge uh make a paywall be paid for my time but I explained to him why I don't think I should so yo DJ still racking out with a brother yo what's up JP Acid TV JP Acid TV you know he's another one uh he been rocking with me since for two years, about two years since the Panchi Gaming Clan. And uh this guy is definitely very supportive of the channel. He doesn't play RPG Maker games, but he definitely know a few of the developers. Definitely, man. Appreciate you, JP, for just you know hanging with me for the long these long months. It's been a rough ride, dude. It's been a rough ride. I even left Twitch for a long time. Like, I was about to give up. I was just about to just stop streaming because I thought it was just a waste of time. But uh, the subscribers and the potentially of becoming a, a YouTube partner or a Twitch affiliate kind of weigh down on you. You know, that's why I don't really try to think about the dollar, the money sign when I do this. You know what I mean? Because... You get discouraged. You get discouraged if you're not making this uh, amount of money. Then you're like, man. Then your heart is in it for the money and not for the games itself. You know? So it's different once you become monetized, guys. It's different. Like, a lot of you guys may not be monetized yet. But at the same time, once you become monetized and you make that money, you know, your mind... Your mind could could change. Like you could do uh stuff where where you feel like okay, um, I could do this now because and YouTube encourages it. YouTube really encourages it. Like, but they they mainly care about their uh their their ads getting shown on your videos. That's the only thing that they care about. But when people see uh they're making so much dollars per video then they'll start like okay how can i make money off my channel and if they start thinking like that i mean i totally agree with it why wouldn't they want to make money off their channel but me personally i just gotta have i i just gotta meet certain criterias even in even in business you know um uh, you know, doing the doing the houses, cleaning the houses, and the you know the doing the move outs. You gotta have a certain standard for your customers. You know what I mean? Like, and I tell customers all the time: when you hire me versus hiring Molly May or another cleaning service, you know we may not have the people like them, but you'll still get the same value, and you'll save a lot of money if you hire us. Instead of hiring them because they have they have a bigger overhead than me. You know what I mean? 
I don't have to worry about paying myself. I'm going to get paid regardless. But, you know, people like Molly May or, uh, you know, um, two maids and a mob or whatever cleaning business out there in the 757, you know, they got a bigger overhead. So their char their prices are a lot higher. So same thing with RPG Maker. Like, how much is your time worth to play a game? You know, so yeah yeah that's how it is that's how it is and sarah you know sarah use you as an example you know sarah's definitely a developer that uh that supports and she uh also you know creating a game then she had many different versions of the game right but uh, she always asks if I could play her game. And when people ask to play their game, it's like a kid asking their parents, can they buy them a toy or something? That's how, that's how I look at it when they ask me, D7, can you play my game, please? That's how they asking. You know what I mean? Like, how can I say no to that? To that cute face or that pretty smile or that you know that handsome face like how can i say no to that <laughs> you know what i mean like that's how that's how i look at it i can't say no to uh i just can't say no i just can't say no and i got emails i got plenty of emails people asking d7 can you play my game please like for real for real and it's like when they ask, they are humble. They're humbling themselves. You feel what I'm saying? They are humbling themselves. You know what I mean? I, I just can't imagine a person to me saying, one person did ask me on the email, how how do I do business? Do, what do I call you? Like, they'd be like, what do I call you? How do, I, how do you do business? Like, they was ready to pay me. Like, I was like, uh, just... Send me the link and uh, subscribe to my YouTube or Twitch and know and put the notifications on. So when I go live, you are notified when I go live at this time. So that's how they know. I mean, that's that's how it goes down. That's how it goes down. Even when Harlequin asked me to play his game, you know, he kind of he kind of feel like he's hesitant a little bit. You know, because he know I played it over and over and over and over and over again. You know, some people may feel like they're being troublesome or being like uh, worrisome. They'll say something like, uh, only when you get the chance. If you got the ch time, can you look at my game again? You don't got to live stream it, but can you look at it? But in reality, they want to see it live stream. I mean, like people, people get used to stuff. So they're going to get used to like D7 live streaming games. When's the last time I uploaded a uh, video that was just like not live stream? You're going to go back a long time ago. <laughs> even D7's wife played Dungeon Runners. Exactly. My wife played it and she don't even play RPGs. I just wanted Harlequin to see how people who don't play RPGs react to his game. You know what I mean? And she said she don't she don't mind doing stuff like that, but you know, she's so busy with the kids and work, you know, I I just dare don't ask her because she just be too tired. So so yeah. Dungeon Room is a game for the tired fan. No, it's not a game for the tired family because it's um it cuss don't it don't they cuss in that game? Don't you cuss in Dungeon Rummage? And I feel like, uh, I feel like, uh, even videos, even videos and other videos that we've seen of people playing Dungeon Rummage and may react it negatively to it, it doesn't, it doesn't execute it as being a non-enjoyable game. I really, I really enjoyed Dungeon Rummage, another Isekai. 
I really enjoyed Teeks Escape. Yes, it's different. People going to like another Izakai better because another Izakai has something different to offer. It had a different uh the rummage system was was just unique. You know, and it had many games and it had uh, secret characters and it had, uh, you know, a crafting system. Of, you could buy a house, you could furnish the house. I mean, it had a lot more to offer the player than Teats Escape. But Teats Escape is just, you know, a side quest to dungeon rummage where you could get a unique character as well i mean do people appreciate teats escape i mean i'm pretty sure they do but you're gonna have people ain't gonna like every game that you play even people said you know they start complaining about uh trials of cascadia i mean they say it is beautiful but they're gonna find something to complain about it like Oh, it run, It uses too much resources on my computer. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Like, dude, why, why the game run slow? Like, bro. <laughs> I mean, that. How did you get? How did you? How do you get Teak in Dungeon Run? Uh, to my understanding, if if you beat Teak's Escape, you get a code, and I'm I believe you can redeem her in the game. I'm not sure she's available in another Izakai right now, but that's how you're supposed to get her. That's how you could get uh, Tiki in the game. You know, even developers, even let streamers is going to disagree with me on the games that I like. They be like, well, D7, you like every game that you play. I mean... I do like every game that I play, but it don't necessarily mean that it's my favorite game. I do have favorite in games that I would pay for, you know what I mean? But I do like everybody's project because I know, you know, the uh, the blood and the sweat and the time that um, people done put into their project. So you got to appreciate that, but that don't mean I will buy it. That doesn't mean I will buy the um the uh the game once it comes released. I will play it as free, but I will not buy it. But you know, you know, to each their own. D seven do not uh approve of every game that comes through my hands. But I do appreciate the effort though. You know, and I would never bash anybody because of their hard work. They just don't know as much as the next person. Just like the game I just played, you know, Mango Maniac. You know, some people say Mango Mischief. They say, how the heck this, where, where's the thousand dollars? Like, where, where is it? I don't see a thousand dollars in this game. You know what I mean? So I'm just saying. I'm just saying, like, but is it a bad game? It's not. It's not. It's not. It just needs some work. Need tons of work, like mapping and some of the dialogue need to be retweeted. But not a bad game. Will it be a game that I buy? Maybe not. Maybe not. You know, that's for D seven five seven gaming to find out. But I was gifted that game. I was given the Steam Steam code, so you know that's one benefit about being a streamer is you get free games. I got I got plenty of free games. Those goblins talking about sets set siege. Nico, I think you would like Dungeon Rummage, another Isekai, the other the other version of the game. It don't have nothing to do with goblins. It don't have nothing to do with um sets none of that you know it's just a straight up game you know it's it's a fun game man it's a fun game i think you will enjoy it i think you enjoy it please (laughs) (laughs) oh my god come 
Allah Haleke. <laughs> Y'all dudes funny, man. Y'all. <laughs> I swear, man, I swear, I swear, this community, man, like, man, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, like, yo, Eric, appreciate Mr. Wilhelm, appreciate the, uh, the tip, man, really appreciate it, <laughs> but for real, though, for real, though, Nick Nicarasu, Nicarasu, your reviews is harsh, but I like watching you because you're funny. You're funny, man. You're funny. And every time I watch your videos, I don't take it to heart about, like, you're bashing the character, like, the developer. You know what I mean? Because I have my own opinion of what you feel about their games. You know, uh, Harlequin knows how I feel about him and how I feel about your reviews. You know what I'm saying? On his game. You know, and some of the words that were said. Yeah, some people say, yeah, you was really, you know, some things you shouldn't have even said about it. But, you know, you did get him, you did get him improvements. You did get him advice. You know, if it was just to that level, then it would have been fine. But you're Nicarasu. Like, like, I mean, the unexpected is the unexpected when it comes with your videos. Then you did Ralph Smith, you know, by Resi, Resident Evil. You know, I really like that game. You know, I really like, I really like the game. It's just, you bashed that game. Like, that game didn't have a chance. You know what I mean? You bashed that game. And your beat with Hulk Zombie. I'm like, Hulk Zombie is a, it's a, uh, a great individual. He's a good guy. Like, I have no problem with Hot Zombie. You know what I mean? But D7 don't have a problem with nobody. Then when you watch, then you made the video on Driftwood Gaming and T offline. You know, you said Driftwood T. Then you got them saying that they were offline, I guess. Offline meaning they're not efficient to to the game. So when you was talking about that video and uh then you brought up Bird Bunch's video, I you know, I I was in agreement with what you were saying. But at the same time, you know, karma is a mother. Karma is a mother. How you finessed us with the challenge, but you end up getting finessed with the thirty bucks. Then you created the song, I want my thirty dollars back. You know what I mean? Then you had to catch yourself from uh from uh, giving too much of your lyrics. See, everything I look at it as entertainment. Entertaining. It's funny to me. It's funny. It's heck. Juicy gossip is funny. Some people may not find it as funny, but I mean <laughs> It's funny, man. It's funny. Like, I would never do reviews like that because, you know, I care about my my viewers' uh, feelings. I really, you know, the developers' feelings. I really care about how they feel about their project. You know what I mean? Because you never know. You never know uh, what they're going through in real life. You know what I mean? Like, real talk. You never know what somebody's going through in real life and... RPG maker could be a way for them to escape, you know, but at the same time, you know, you just, <laughs> you, you know, that's just you. That's just how you do your delivery. And do I want you to stop doing what you're doing? Me personally? No, keep doing, <laughs> keep doing what you're doing, man. And just bring us entertainment. You know what I mean? You're like the roaster of RPG Maker. Even Kimson said. <laughs> you destroy a lot of souls. In RPG Maker community. You destroy a lot of souls. You know what I mean? It's just funny man. It's just funny. It's just funny. But you know. You're just another person. With another opinion. That's all I see you at. You know what I mean? You just do it differently. From everybody else. You know. What you did wasn't no difference of what Drifty and T 
T did about Bird Bunch's game or any other game that they did. Because one, it's live stream, and two, it's frustrations is being shown, and three, you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. Just like the Nerd Mansion played that game. Remember that input? He had to put that input in, and it just kept going fast. It took him like a hundred tries just to get the first one done. Then he had to do two more, three more. And the first and the last one he got on the first try. You know, like the nerd man, she was getting so frustrated. You know, he lost his 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 way of thinking. He couldn't even think straight anymore. He was like, Oh my gosh, like it's one of these games. Why did it have to be a live stream and not a video where I could just cut it and edit it and whatnot? You know, no, he was live, messing up at the puzzles and all that good stuff. Like that one game I was playing that had amazing art, amazing mapping, but the puzzle time, I sucked. I sucked. I sucked at it. Jyoti is live right now doing what? Are you serious? Jyoti is live. Are you are you banned from this uh Are you banned from Driftwood uh I'm not getting sleepy but my wife is about to go to church. She got she about to go to choir practice and I got to watch the kids. So, thinking about, I could definitely raid him. I think you're not banned. Nigga. You just be quiet. But I think you're banned from the Discord, though. Because when I search your name, it don't come up. <laughs> you didn't come up, Nikarasu. You're banned. What? Hey. <laughs> What is he playing? Y'all bad influences too. Y'all bad influences. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But uh yeah, Harlequin, appreciate you, man. Just keeping me afloat, man. Put me on the right path where I'm supposed to go. And everybody else, man, really appreciate it, man. Like on some real talk. So Drifty is playing uh Wayward Prophet. First impressions. So I guess we'll do a raid. We'll raid his chat. Because that's what you can do on YouTube now. Is raid. You can raid. And this game looks pretty cool, man. It looks pretty cool. RPG Maker Unite. I'm ready for that. I, I'm, I'm, I want to see what that looks like. So they got a YouTube for artists now. But before I go, congratulations to Harlequin for topping top ten. I mean top number one in your class. Definitely, man, keep keep grinding, keep hustling, dude. Like just keep keep doing what you got to do. Keep doing what you got to do, dude. Proud of you, man. Proud of you. You've been, you know, you've been through a lot this year. We all been through a lot. You know, keep developing great content. Keep making those, you know, that rummage system is great. You know, nobody got the rummage system except this guy here. Trying to uh get ready for the raid, the redirect. All right, guys, I really appreciate ya. Really appreciate the love and and Neo Soul Gamer. Thank you for just you know looking at me as worthy and of the RPG Maker community. All right, guys. Until next time, y'all have a great one, and I will see you later. Peace out. Peace from the Middle East. See ya. Wouldn't wanna be ya. <laughs>